Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make another eggnog cake. This one with a uh, streusel crumb topping. So it starts out as always by creaming the butter in a stand mixer. And you don't need to use a stand mixer. If you've got a hand blender or even just a wooden spoon, um, you can do this. You don't need a stand mixer. Okay, while the butter is softening up, we'll make the streusel topping. So I have here some melted butter. To that I'm going to add flour cinnamon, brown sugar, and grate in some nutmeg. Okay, looks like enough. So, I'll get a spoon, and we'll mix this together. Now there's one other ingredient to go into here, and that is rum, and you've got a lot of choices when it comes to rum. A dark rum, a flavorful dark rum is a great idea. Probably a spiced rum, which would fit with the spices that are going to go on in this cake. And I've decided that the rum I want to use is this, it's called Chick Chalk. It's a Canadian rum, which is a little bit weird. So this Chick Chalk, this is a spiced rum, but it's not spiced with the spices that you would normally think of. It has stuff that you find on the Canadian Arctic. Peppery green alder, spikenard, winter rod berries, lovage, gale seeds, wild angelica. So it brings a real sort of northern flair to its flavor profile. Of course, use whichever rum you have or would like to use. Um, and if you want to leave the rum out, go right ahead, leave the rum out, or just put in rum flavoring. So we mix this together until everything is wet. Looks like the butter is ready. So next in is some white sugar, and we just continue to cream that until it's really light and fluffy. While that's happening, I'm gonna mix the baking powder into the flour. Okay, now we put the eggs into the butter mixture one at a time. And you let the egg uh, fully incorporate before you put the second one in. And I found that by doing it this way, they just mix in better. If you overload it with egg, it doesn't incorporate in as nicely. Um, but feel free to just toss both eggs in at the same time if you want to. Okay, so we're gonna need a half a cup of eggnog. And this eggnog already has rum in it. Um, not enough rum to make it alcoholic. Just enough rum to give it a touch of rum flavor. And it's just available at the regular grocery store here. I'm gonna put the vanilla into the eggnog just to make it easier to mix in later, so touch of vanilla, and I'm going to be very careful with this vanilla. Um, this is a very potent vanilla mixture. Very easy to overpower everything. Okay, with the mixer still running, I'm going to add the sour cream. And we're just going to wait until that sour cream is completely mixed in before we move on. Okay, now we alternate between the dry ingredients and the liquid. Um, three or four additions, you put it in, you wait till the flour is fully incorporated, and then drizzle in a little bit of the eggnog vanilla, and then you go back to the flour mixture. Got a nine by nine cake pan with a parchment sling just to make it easy to get the cake out, and in goes the batter. Spread the batter out right into the corners, smooth it as best you can, and then Sprinkle on the streusel topping. Couple of taps and into the oven. Hey Jules. Hey Glenn, uh, this is super crunchy on top. It, it, was, it was tough to slice. It is super crunchy. Um, not that I'm great at slicing at any time, but you know, that one was tough. So. What do we got other than a fabulous looking crunchy top? Um, which well, I want to pick off and eat. It's an eggnog cake. Ah. With, uh, you know, the topping Some on top. Topping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a really great cake. It's super moist. It is, it is really moist. And the, the eggnog flavor is very subtle. Yes. And I so, totally love the crunchy on top. And though. the crunchy on top. So, um, 
it is subtle. It's there. You could bump it up a little bit more if you wanted to. But having just a subtle eggnog flavor means you can partner it with other things. Well, yeah, and it's not overpowering. So it's the flavor's there. It's got that hint. You say, oh, eggnog, that's great, without being, oh, eggnog. I don't want to have any more eggnog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so you can play around with it a little bit. You could add a little bit more rum, or you could add whiskey, depending on the eggnog that you're using. Um, this could stand for a little bit more eggnog in the batter of the cake if you wanted to amp up the flavor, just like we did with the bundt cake. You could bring it up a little bit higher. Um, there's quite a bit that you could do with this, I think, to change that eggnog flavor if you wanted more. I think because it has such a lovely, rich, sweet, eggnoggy flavor to it, I actually think it would be interesting if you kind of partnered it with something that was tart like a cranberry. Yes. Oh, that would be really good, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? So another holiday Christmas flavor yeah. together with it. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Well, I'm going to eat more crunchy topping. So thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.